All right, hey guys, this is going to be a brief introduction into atherosclerosis and clotting. These kind of things lead to uh, conditions you've probably heard of, pulmonary embolism, myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack. We're going to go over how those conditions are started through this process. You can see on the left here we have a normal artery, and we're going to move all the way down to the right side chronologically to tissue death, or ischemia. Starting over here on the left, we have our normal artery. Your artery carries the blood away from the heart. You can see that in a healthy individual, on the endothelial lining, meaning the inside of those blood vessels, the inside of those arteries, we're going to have some coating denoted by this black line here. We're going to have some coating there, some cholesterol, which is totally healthy, totally fine. There's no problem with that. The problem starts to arise when there's too much cholesterol, particularly the LDL, or low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is known as the bad cholesterol. That, if you have too much of it, will start to accumulate on the endothelium here, denoted here by these black markings. You can see they start to pile up. These, this uh, blood vessel is starting to thin in the middle, the lumen, the inside of the blood vessel is starting to get very narrow. And uh, I denote it up here with asterisks. That just means that whatever's happening down here on the bottom is obviously going to be happening on the top. So it's magnified times two, or on all 360 degrees inside of that blood vessel. So as this LDL accumulates down here, yeah, I think it's accumulating on all sides. And that's going to take us from a wide vessel down to a skinnier vessel. However, the blood vessel, once it has that LDL accumulation, it doesn't just sit there. It has inherent processes are supposed to get rid of that LDL. Things like macrophages and foam cells are going to ingest and they're going to build up the blood vessel endothelium, the blood vessel inner wall, around that LDL and consume it. And here you can see our blood vessel is actually getting narrow, but it's ingesting that LDL, trying to get rid of it, trying to say, hey, we need a bigger blood vessel here. The problem is that if those attacks, of that increased LDL isn't cured, if you continue to have high LDL in your diet, if you continue to have a sedentary lifestyle, those sort of things, you can lead to an actual formation of what's called a fibrous cap in the carotid core. And what that means is the blood vessel is starting to grow so much for so long that it's actually becoming a permanent structure. This blood vessel is starting to become permanently narrowed, so much so that it's fibrous, meaning it's really hard and thick on the inside there, and so you almost start having a reshapen, thickened blood vessel. This is going to lead to an extreme narrowing of that lumen. It's going to decrease the elasticity of the walls of the artery, make it less uh, compliant with blood pressure changes. So this is going to lead to things like hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, because those walls really can't expand the increasing uh, beats of the heart and the increasing blood pressure. So in turn, it's going to jack up the pressure inside those arteries. Now this necrotic core, the LDL has been consumed in these things called fatty streaks, and those things, they're not vascularized, they're starting to die. So it really is just this plaque, this, this clot, this uh, thrombus, another good word, that it's forming there inside the wall, and it's not going anywhere until it gets to be so intense, such a big clot, and the pressure is so high that the thrombus gets uh, thrown out of this plaque, meaning that the inner necrotic core, which is dead tissue, just a bunch of junk hanging out inside those blood vessel walls, gets sent out from the high blood pressure, from the increased LDL, into the center of the lumen. That means that you have a clot roaming through your blood vessels just looking for a place to lodge itself and block off the downstream tissues. Now, one thing that there used to be some discrepancy about this is that people used to think that it was actually this fibrous cap or the hard plaque that breaks off and clogs the tissues, but now we actually know through research that it's actually this inner, it's called the fragile plaque. It's not necessarily a hard piece of junk that's floating around, it's just a lot of junk that's willing to clog up anything it sees. So we're going to have this thrombus or this clot moving through the arteries. Now it can go all throughout your body, and as long as you stay in the large arteries, you're not going to have a problem because the aorta is pretty big, and that clot's going to be pretty small, and like we said, it's fragile, so it can easily fragment. The problem is when you get into a very, very narrow lumen, or a lumen that's been narrowed so much from exacerbation and atherosclerosis. Excuse me. That's when you're going to have your clot and what's called ischemia, or when the tissues that are downstream from that don't receive oxygenated blood, don't receive the nutrients they need, so then they die. Now, common... Uh, manifestation of this is myocardial infarction or a heart attack. What happens is in one of those coronary arteries that's very small compared to that aorta, one of those plaques or one of those thrombi or one of those clots is going to get lodged in there and it's going to block all the downstream heart tissue from receiving any more oxygen. What's going to happen? Because that heart requires so much oxygen, it's then going to die. And that's when you're going to have tissue death and the possibility of the uh, patient's death. Another common uh, clinical manifestation of this is pulmonary embolism. Your lungs, just like your heart, have a lot of very small blood vessels, a lot of very small capillaries for that uh, gas exchange to occur. 
and those can very easily be blocked by these thrombi as well. And that is an introduction to atherosclerosis.